Let us go to Galatians, Galatians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18. My counsel is this, live freely animated and motivated by God's spirit. Then you won't feed the compulsions of selfishness, for there is a root of sinful self-interest in us that is at odds with the free spirit, just as the free spirit is incompatible with selfishness. These two ways of life are contrary to each other, so that you cannot live at times one way and at times another way according how you feel, on, to, on how you feel on any given day. Why don't you choose to be led by the spirit so escape the erratic compulsions of a law-dominated ex existence? What does this mean? The flesh and the spirit are butting heads. This is a war out here. This is why you have to stay armored up. And with on any given moment, the, your flesh could rise up to do anything that's out of God. Don't give in to it. Don't give in to it. Don't give in to it. I'm going to keep saying it. Don't give in to it because that's what the enemy wants. He wants you to do that. But the enemy already knows where he's going on judgment day. Why do you think he's trying so hard to pull you in by trying to make you think things you have no business thinking, acting in ways that you have no business acting? You know better. This doesn't even just tie back the whole tra to home training. This ties back to straight morals. Live by the spirit and it says it's, we live by the spirit and it is a step with it that we keep keep in step by the spirit as you live by the spirit be spirit led and that's not always easy either but i'll tell you one thing i tell you one thing it is a reward for doing what is right so do what is right in a world that normalizes wrong dare to be different that is what you're here for